Vlogs up everyone, just thought I'd do a quick vlog on doing the uh, static timing on my Triumph T100C. I've had quite a few comments about people saying, oh, great to see the Triumph start up first time, first kick. Um, I'm sure that's purely fluke on my part, um, but I'll show you how I set up my ignition. I'm running a Boyer Mark III uh, uh, electronic ignition, and the tools you'll need to set up your uh, ignition Oh, very basic. I'm not going to show you the wiring diagram in case it's different to your bike or blah blah blah. I'm just going to show you how I actually set it up uh, on the uh, hard, hard wire side. Okay, so tools that you'll need. Then you're going to need uh, a socket wrench. You're going to need spark plug spanner because you're going to remove both the plugs. I'm going to need my half inch socket to take the petrol tank off. I'm going to need my allen key, 4mm allen key, to get access to my points cover because I'm running one of these aftermarket ones on. I'm going to need a, a 5 8 long reach socket uh, because on these Triumph T100s, uh, the back of the barrels, uh, on the crank casing, there's a little plug and you undo that and that gives you access to the crank and on it are two drilled holes, I'll show you on a diagram and you have two, one for top dead center and one before top dead center. I'm going to use this tool, uh, Triumph made them. The tool number is D for David, 571 forward slash two. And what you do, you take that little plug out the back, you screw this in, then you make sure that you're on the compression stroke, drop that in, and then when you're ready, and it comes around to that 38 degrees, it pops down and you know that it's stable and it won't move either and then you can do your other checks. So let's get on with it, let's see how we can get on. The tool that we use is ideal, it just pops into the back here and we rotate. I'll show you how it works in a bit. So the first thing I need to do is remove the tank uh, and then get the spark plugs out. So let's just whip that off quickly. Sorry I took so long, but uh, there you can see, uh, tanks off, seats up. So Boyer Ignition Micro Mark III, uh, just gonna, I'm not going to show you the wiring like I said a minute ago. Um, so one of the other things I want to do now is show you how we can tell whether or not we're on the compression stroke. Okay, so what I've done, I've just rotated the engine um, on the kickstart. And I don't know if you can just see, just inside there, you should just be able to make out the inlet valve beginning to open. So the pistons drop down. So now I know that if I rotate the engine, when that piston comes back up, that is my compression stroke. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna undo that plug at the back of the crank and then drop in my little tool. So there we can see I've put the base plate in there uh, and now what I'm going to do is just stick in the end piece. Don't push it in at this point because what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to rotate the engine round, I'm going to drop the piston down and then as I feel it coming back up I'll make sure that that's popping back in. Now as I can see, piston rotating down going down and now that's it's on the way up so what I'll do I'll just put a little tiny bit of pressure on there and there you can see it just drives home just there okay so you need to just put that little bit of pressure on there so that you know you've got the first one otherwise you're going to end up with top dead center because you've you've just overturned it so they really are very, very basic, these. Um, it's not a made electronic thing. Um, so at the top, I made sure that I positioned at the top uh, this pillar in between the white width of that gap, and I made the same on there. So that way, when you've got the oval, yeah, you're in the middle, so that gives you the maximum so you can advance and retard. Then what I did was turn the stator so it's in the middle of the hole that I need to look at, which I'll show you now. 
Now this window here, yeah, is your access window. So what I did on that stator, I painted a little dot. And what I did is, now I know I can rotate that and get that bang in the middle of this inspection hole. And because I have the maximum I can play with either side of here and here, I know that if I need to advance or retard it, I have the room to do that because I know the pickup in there is bang in the middle of that inspection hole. I painted a little dot on it just so I can quickly look through uh, and see where it is. And I've just looked and it's bang on at the moment. So that's how I did my Boyer ignition. And to be honest, I didn't have to play with it after that. I bolted it up and that's how it started. The other thing I did, or what you have to do as well, is make sure that your inlet and outlet valves are at the correct uh, setting. The thing that I love about the T100C is the access I have. Normally you would undo this access hole, bend your feeler gauges in there, try and get that, that gap. But on the C model, we have this inspection hole. Okay, so you can undo that and you can actually go horizontally into your timing of the tappets. Uh, which makes it a lot easier rather than trying to bend them in and so forth. It is a lot more accurate and you have a lot better feel for it because you're not trying to drag across the back of here as well. So if you can change on your bike, if you've got a, a 500 and you haven't got these heads, look around for the C model heads. So they've got this recess or getting machined. It's well worth the money to have that. It just makes life so much easier. Well, that's pretty much it. That's basically what I did. 